Hey strangers, it's time for Top 10 Tips, the Lotro Legendary Server. Number 10. Carry Wound, Poison, Disease, and Fear Potions. These effects are abnormally strong and will kill you at the early levels. The potions are super cheap, so make sure you stock up. Number 9. Play the class that you want to play. The balance of the game is all over the place, which you will hear me say a lot. As a result, most classes are suitable for pretty much anything. So play the class you want to play, because raids and groups are surprisingly flexible. The server is more about the fun than the hardcore progression. Number 8. Invite people to your fellowships when questing. The level zones are super full. There's people all over the place. So make sure you invite strangers to fellow with while you share kills and named monster kills to avoid being super bloated in the low level areas. It can be very frustrating when you have a million people try to kill the same monster. So invite people to your party. It's a good way to make friends. Number 7. Don't bother with crafting while leveling. This might sound counterintuitive to a lot of Lord of the Rings Online players, but crafted items aren't currently scaling properly right now and will have significantly lower stats than the items on the landscape. Once you hit level 15, random gear is almost twice as strong as crafted gear, with it getting very extreme by the end game, where crafted gear is about 25% of the strength of random gear you get at level 50 from quests. Number 6. If you do decide to craft, get a Universal Toolkit. Universal Toolkits are amazing. They only cost 150 points, and they save you 3 seconds off of every single time you go to collect a resource. Did you collect 100 nodes of resources? Congratulations, you just saved 5 minutes. So buy yourself a toolkit. It's a great tool. Kit. Toolkit. Number 5. Expected to take a while leveling. The server has minus 40% experience. I managed to rush to 48 in 5 days, but there's a lot of grind pretty much every day. Enjoy the ride since once you hit level 50, there's no more leveling, unlike in the normal server. You can't just keep progressing, it's not going to 55, 60, and whatever for quite a long time, so make sure you explore areas that you never quested. Maybe go to Forest Shell, or Even Nim, or Tal Bruinen, and try to really take in the world, because you got a lot of time. Number 4. Don't expect loot from group dungeons. Dungeon loot isn't quite working right, with some dungeons dropping items with no stats on them, and low-level dungeons pretty much just give mark. I recommend that you wait until level cap to do dungeons if you're looking for equipment. However, if you do want to do them for fun, I still recommend doing them because they are quite a lot of fun. Just don't have any high expectations for the gear that drops out of them. Number 3. Get at least one in-combat power regeneration item. This stat is way, way over-tuned right now. Having one or two in-combat power regen items will give you unlimited power regeneration, which is extremely good for classes like Minstrels or Wardens. Number two, follow the book quests. The book has some of the best gear available, and if you're a new player who's unfamiliar with where to go for quests, it will lead you straight through all the way to level 50. And then once you reach level 50 and you finish the book quest 8, there's now books 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 to give you all that juicy story to tide you over. Tip number one, expect changes. The live servers are undergoing very large balance changes right now. The development team is trying to balance things for level 120, make sure all the classes work, make sure the stats make sense as they go through the game. So as a result, the lower levels are kind of all over the place, which is why crafting isn't in the right place and why in combat power regen items give you infinity power. All the information in this video might end up changing, and that's okay, because we're going to get a better game state. I'm sure crafting will get improved, damage over time effects will get fixed so they don't instantly kill you in low levels, and in combat power regen will get nerfed at some point. So be flexible, and don't get set on anything, since more changes are going to be coming. Also, Bjornings are apparently getting buffed, so that's kind of cool. So there's my 10 tips, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you that still don't know where to go, I'm going to give you a quick rough leveling path for getting all the way through the game, so check this one out. So to start, do your starter area up to level 15. If you're a hobbit, that is the Shire. If you're a elf, high elf, or dwarf, that's Ered Lewin. And if you are a man or Bjorning, that is Archet and Coom. Once you're level 15, head over into Bree Town and start book one. And you're going to be working on West Bree. That's Western Bree Fields, as well as the Barrow Downs. And you're going to do that stuff all the way until level 20. Once you've hit 20, you're going to head over into the Lone Lands, starting off book two going over to Weathertop, working with Candaith, and then heading down into the Forsaken Inn, and then finally to Ostguruth. This will take you until about level 26 to 28, at which point you can then head into the North Downs, head over to Trestlebridge, do Amlin's Camp, Amon Wraith, and Esteldon, until about level 30. Once you've hit level 30, that's when you want to head over to Evenim, starting with Oatbarton, then going into Dwalling, to King's Crossing, to Tinendir, to Ostforod, and doing all the quests here, since there's a lot of them, and they're pretty concentrated, is going to take you to about level 36 to 38. At this point, you're then going to head over to the Trollshaws, go over to Barricans Camp, and do all the quests out there, 
over to Thornhead, as well as Talbrunen. The quest in the Troll Shaw should bring you anywhere from level 38 to level 40. At this point, you're then going to head up into the Misty Mountains. You're going to go up to Gloin's Camp, and you're going to do all the quests in the Misty Mountains. They're pretty linear, and you're going to take those and also do the quests within Goblin Town. Doing all these will bring you to level 43 or 44, depending on if you do all the quests or not. After that, you head out over to Angmarn to Ogair. You're going to do the book quest, and you're going to do pretty much the quests in the area. Angmar quests are a little bit more challenging, so if you see a guy there, invite them to your party and uh, have a good time. Angmar quests will take you to about level 46, once you finished book six and then finally to decide where you want to finish off your leveling you could stay in angmar although it's a lot of group quests there or you can head over to forest shell or Eregion. region Eregion. anyway you can head over to these places which are going to give you a lot of experience and be a little bit more solo friendly or if you happen to have a couple buddies stay in angmar for that part of the experience anyways that's all i got for you guys today sorry about my terrible voice i'm very sick because that's just that's just how life is so anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna stop recording this video so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about Lord of the Rings Online or you want to know anything else, leave a comment down below and I might answer you. I might not. I'm still sick. Blah. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.